Oh, I don't have, I left my little thing downstairs. Hello, friends. Hello and oh, welcome. Ahead. Welcome to Fun Fun Friday. It's so good to have everybody here with us today. Happy Friday. I promise you, you're not going to have the audio issues like we had in our live on Wednesday. What a disaster, you guys. But that's the way we roll here. We do what we do, and then we fix where we can, and and it's all good, right? Um, so welcome. I'm Lynn from Ellen J. Goods. We are located in Medina, New York. You can find us here in this sweet little small town between Buffalo and Rochester. You can also find us at ellenjgoods.com. Thank you so much for joining us today. We um, are streaming live to both YouTube and Facebook, and we are uh, going to share today our Christmas in July features. All month long, we will be doing some wonderful projects for projects for Christmas wow. in July and sharing them with you. So um, thank you for hanging out with us and we would appreciate it if you're here to follow, subscribe, get the, hit the notification bell. I mean, there's so many things, right? Leave a comment, give us a thumbs up, all of those things that can show your love for what we're doing here today. And by all means, let us know. Are you a cat person? Or are you a dog person? You can be both. Please share the appropriate emoji. And it may be both. You're right, Megan. We're both. Yes. We love we love both. Oh, I see. Sorry, my internet is a little going sketchy. In and out. Yes. Oh dear me. Megan's here with us today. Hi. And she is going to be sharing a collection list. It's already shared. It's in the description on both Facebook what? and YouTube. Oh my gosh, girl. You you got it going on. Yeah. No matter how many times you tried to interrupt me while I was doing it. All right. Can we not fight today? <laughs> if you, if, so here's what happened on Wednesday. We'll chat just for a second. On Wednesday... Um, we we did have a little bit of a sound issue, so I do want a you to, a lot of it, a lot of it, yes. And I'm embarrassed by it. Um, I just totally, it, I'm embarrassed by it. I, I anyway. So what I did is I deleted that live from Facebook. You'll never see it. You'll never ever see it's it. It's still again. on YouTube, but not for long because <laughs> I have um, taken that video. I've downloaded it. I've edited it. it edited it down and then I've added some other fun content to it to kind of share you know what we're working on at the cottage and the story of Kitty and so we've we've condensed it the audio is much improved so we appreciate um, if when we get that posted if you go ahead and watch that and let, and let me know um, if you like that one better because I think it's going to be a lot better. Okay, AZ. I'm assuming you're, this is AZ Grandma, like Arizona Grandma. This oh. is her first time catching us live, so welcome. welcome. And a lot of our friends here are cat and dog people Absolutely. for the most part. Well, yeah. I mean, what's not to love about both? We, we, I, as we move along today, I will share um, uh, the update on Kitty. Mm -hmm. And, um, but let's get started right now. I'm going to actually begin to um, share some of the products that we're using today and talk about my inspiration for today's project. You know, if you've been following for a while, I'm a huge fan of Gia. Gia from the Netherlands. And Can I link her? Here or I don't know if I feel you like can we've or struggled not. with that before. Yeah. What's the name of her um, um Gia Instagram? It, one of you one of you are in here and you know who Gia is, go ahead and share that link. Or just tell me what it's called. Her Instagram. What Vintage Insta for love, I think. Um 
vintage four dash love I can never get it the right way but anyway she's on Facebook she's on Instagram she shares very regularly in the tribe the, the IOD creative tribe and she's a huge inspiration for me so I reached out to Gia about um, a project that she had done last year and I asked her permission to um, to kind of do my own version of it. And uh, she, of course, said, absolutely. She's gonna pop in our live today. And so when she does join us, please be sure to say hi and welcome to Gia. She, um, she is one of those creatives that I absolutely adore. And she is always so generous with her ideas and her willingness to to share what she does with others. So um, this is all about playing with molds today. And some of the molds that we're using are from last year's IOD release, including baubles. But I wanna tell you right now, we have three left. We just put them in our inventory. Sure we have three? Go look, I'm pretty sure we do. So we're using baubles. Okay, yes. Okay. Great, that is it. If you didn't get this last year, by all means, grab it. Grab it today. This is one of my all-time favorites. It's We're, never coming back. Right. We are also using Jingle. Uh, did Shirley? Yeah, I know this is going to come up. Are we going to be willing to make sets of those ornaments? Of course. Absolutely. That this is Jingle. We're going to be doing some little... Now, here's the thing. A lot of you... What's that? Uh, Shirley's giving us the old stink eye, the old evil eye. Like, oh, set I'm just me. wondering if I should take a picture of it now and get it up. You could, but we can also create an image later. If you want. I mean, it's up to you. If you want to do that with your, with your phone, you can. Um... You can. Well, you have it all laid out. So I know, so I, I know. To. So um, this is Jingle. Jingle is last year's IOD mold. Many of you probably already have it. We're gonna be using a few parts to this today. Now, keep this in mind. If you don't have these, it's okay. You can, you can um, do it all flowers. You, you can, can do it, do it so what, however ways. you want. Yes. We're using the IOD roses mold. We are using acanthus, this little, Gia piece right here. She always, you'll always find this little piece that's right there. Gia uses that a lot in her pieces. And we are going to be using the new IOD, uh, what is this one called? Dainty Flourishes. I'm going to use this and maybe a little bit of primitive. I'm just, I'm looking for little um, greenery or things that I can use for like a stem or something in this whole collection of things. So that's what I have done. We have poured most of our molds with two-part resin today and they've already been done. I'm not going to share that with you but um, I will be adding some clay uh, pieces as well. And we're also using some Debbie's DIY paint. So let me show you um, what we have going on here. Did you find your palette paper? No, but I'll, I'll, I will use this for mixing. So this is the piece that we're going to be doing. And I just went down in the basement and I picked out a salvaged piece of... Um, I don't know it was probably part of, it was probably an old tabletop I'm sure it was it like. and we are going to be uh, painting doing the undercoat of this and then laying our molds out so what I did today just so I could get an idea of how many I was using and my general layout I already popped them on here I should have taken a picture <gasps> my cousin Jessica's here hi Jessica how oh, nice to see you here. That's and so exciting. So Megan, can I use your phone? I think I'm going to take a picture yeah. of this. So you guys, when you lay out a project like this, um, you know, I'm going to be removing all of these, but I, I needed to get an idea spatially of what was going on here. But yes, yeah, snap a picture of it, right? Use your phone, snap a picture, and that you can refer back to that as you lay these back on. 
and it's really helpful to do that. I actually also took a screenshot of my inspiration piece that Gia did, and I don't know where I put that, but it's here somewhere. Did you print it? I think I saw it in the printer. Yeah, but I brought, I brought it, it out. I did bring it out. Oh, here it is. So this is, um, yeah, Vintage for Love underscore studio. So this is the piece that Gia did last year. And she, oh my gosh, she used the roses and just filled that in. Of course, I don't have access to the same paints or papers that Gia does. So I'm just going to kind of do my own thing. That's okay. We'll do it. The Ellen Jacobs yep. way. So we're gonna. I pulled these. Um, these are. Are these all IDT and? They're all IDT collection. They're all listed in the collection um, in the description on Facebook and YouTube. Yep. So I'm gonna get a base coat of paint laid on here. We'll get it dry, and then I'm gonna decoupage some pieces from these these um, decoupage papers to get that that roses look in the background what okay? decoupage medium are you using i don't notice one that's that's why i have the funkature so, out yeah that's what you're going to use yeah that's fine or i can why don't we grab debbie's diy liquid patina how okay. about that we'll we'll stay in the same family of finishes here all right so we like i said we already cast all of our mold let's get a background down on here i am actually going to make this a very pale and dusky sort of pink and i am going to mix a little faded burlap with that and you know here we go this kind of reminds me of how i did that painting that anthro inspired painting last week um, I'm just going to kind of throw some paint down here and see what happens, okay? And we'll we'll kind of mix it up. And I know I've got way too much here, so. There was no liquid patina. I opened a new one. Oh, okay. Uh, there's some in, in a FIFO bottle. Oh. Okay, so, so what I did is I used the faded burlap just to kind of tone down that pink a little bit so that it's not quite so pink and i'm just going to kind of smush this all over i'll probably need a couple of coats on here in fact i'm sure i will did you find it yes i did perfect oh i love the sound of that cabinet i know you do it's just so calming yeah so there we go and already um, just by mixing those colors together, it's changing up that bright pink. We might need to shift that light over just shift a bit. It. Thank you. That's very pretty. Thank you. How's this for you? Good. So we'll get this on here. And then what we're going to do is pass this off. To, uh, I don't know if Shirley is around or um, I will find her. And then we can get this dried and um, do stage two. Stage two. That's right. That's right. Megan, who's joining us today? Wow. You want me to list everyone here? Well, you know, whoever captures your fancy, I guess. Well, that's not very nice. <laughs> That's a setup. I'm just gonna squint and whatever names are <laughs> coming out at me. Kat's here, Stephanie's here, Karen Addenberry's here, Lisa, Gilly's here, Lourdes is here. I feel like Hi, I haven't Lourdes. seen you in a while, well, Lourdes. Lourdes has been moving. Oh, no fun. Yeah. Tracy's here from Ohio. Yes, we do have the rose mold, Tommy. It's we listed do. in the uh, link in the description, but I can also give you a direct link right now. Cheryl's here. I'm Melissa's here. here. She's on the road, she says. Where are you going? Yeah. Where's Melissa going? Laura Hall. Hi, Laura. Mary Jo, Betty. You know, all our friends are here. Everybody. <laughs> Linda Gardner's here. Hi, Linda. She loves that color. Yeah, it really kind of softens it a little bit, doesn't it? I'm just, again, I'm just kind of slip slapping it on here. And um, we, 
will then get this dried. And while this is drying, I am going to go ahead and <laughs> you're really, I know, right? I know really. I'm, I'm concentrating. Wow. Okay, so let's move this aside, my dear. Okay. And take it to the bathroom. Yeah. Can you dry it? Thank you. Thank you very much. All right. And so now we're going to prepare some of these background roses. I chose these because they're really faded and very like very soft faded colors. Now what I'm going to try to do is I'm going to try to not get any of the blue in here. Some of that could that could be a little tricky. We'll see how it goes. Okay, so I'm going to get ready to whoops, sorry. that a little closer. Um, I just have some brushes and my water and I am just going to water cut some of these um, little, little bits. Carol Beals is here. Hi Carol. It's so nice to have all of you here. We sure do appreciate it. Now if I do get a bit of that aqua in the background because we're going to see a little. I mean, there, I can't eliminate all of it, right? But I'm just going to work with it. And I also can blend a little bit of uh, my paint. I really want this to be very softly watery in the background and I hope I can achieve that. Karen asked if JR cut the board. We think it's a, an old tabletop. Yeah, I know it's an old tabletop. Yeah. We, we don't think it's an old tabletop. We're 100% certain. We're certain. That Karen. it's an old tabletop. Yes. We're not taking any guesses. That is correct. Okay, oh. I see. So you're taking the flowers out. Yes, I am. Aren't those pretty rice papers, Sandy? They're gorgeous. I have used these so much just on backgrounds of tags and ornaments and in my journal as well. But so I just want to, I'm going to grab just a few of these flowers and then we'll place them. Okay. Oh, Patricia Lambert's here. She's new. She Hi. watches on YouTube. She said, I want you to know how much I enjoy all your videos. And when I feel down, I put you on and your cheerful way makes me feel better. I'm Aww. learning lots. Thank you. Thank hey, you. Thank you that so was really much. nice of you to it's say so that. Sweet. It really is. Oh my gosh, some Danette says she has four dogs. Four? What is that? A dog a puppy? I don't know what that emoji is. Four of some kind of animal that kind of looks like a dog. One that's definitely a dog and five guinea pigs. Oh but really? I don't know, is that a wolf? <laughs> or is that a cat? Maybe four cats. <laughs> and the emojis on YouTube look funny. They are. Oh my gosh. Who is that? Danette. Danette. That's my name. Do you have? Are you? Are you harboring wolves? <laughs> no. <laughs> maybe cats. it's a side view. Maybe it's a side view of a cat. I think Could it is. Be. Oh my gosh. Kitty is doing very well. I did have a great vacation, Sandy. My cousin Jessica, who I just said hi to on here, that's who I was visiting in Mexico, and I had a wonderful time. I'm missing all of my cousins so Aww. much. No, we did not name the kitten yet. Not yet. Which Kitty mom's goes reasoning for not naming the kitty was unsettling. No, it, well, first of all, we knew <laughs> that we had to get to the, go to the vet. Yes. And then we would know for sure if it's a little boy or a little girl cat. Yes. And Shirley, who was a vet tech in her previous um, She did a career inspection. She, gave, she thinks we have a We have a little girl. girl. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, we do. We have a little girl kitty, so. That was found on the 4th of July. Yes. And Shirley thinks that Kitty's older than we think because she has a full set of teeth. Yeah. 
she's just so stinking tiny. And you know, then I was researching a little bit and I saw like they really don't leave the mother until they're around 12 weeks old. Yeah. So we know she's got to be at least 12 weeks. I just think she's really tiny. And I can tell you, I think knowing the nature of cats and how important it is to socialize them early, we're really, I think we're really lucky. She's so friendly. Yeah, that we got her. Because the litter mates who are now, they've kind of moved on, you know, um, but they were, they were very, like they w wanted nothing to do with us. I agree with Sandy. I still think Betsy Ross is a great name. Betsy. <laughs> Betsy Ross. Oh. <laughs> the full name. <laughs> yes. I really love it. Oh, gosh. She's sleeping in Chance's bed right she now. She is. So Chance has been an absolute doll with her. Um, but, you know, he's got his routine. Like, when he comes to work today, Kitty won't come to work with us every day. No. no. But um, Kitty has decided she loves Chance's crate where he likes to take his morning nap. And it has a very fluffy blanket. Yes. So. And so um, they were sleeping in there together a couple days ago, he doesn't, Monday. He doesn't but love he's like, that. no, I, I like my own space. He won't here. boot her out. No. But he very he he'll very sit like outside she, and just kind of look at yeah. her. Or he'll when she goes in there he'll very like tiptoey kind yes. of like over top of her yeah, to get out. Get out of there. It's really cute, but he's he is he's been wonderful with her. So um, yeah, she's sleeping inside now. Um, she's been getting medication, and she is doing. She looks three hundred and crazy percent better. It's just she's amazing, down. and she's, she's eating drinking. and drinking on her own, which is another really good thing. Yeah, you never did have to use the bottle. You never had to use the bottle. We did get kitty formula, and she uh, was not even interested. No. Jan likes Miss Kitty. I love Miss Kitty, and JR was like, oh, it's so, I don't know. Like, can we ever agree on a name? I like a proper um, name. I, like, my cat is Mrs. Puff, though. Who is she married to? We don't know. I always like to name, I love to name animals um, with human names. I love that. Mm -hmm. Betty uh, said, we have a little wiener dog mix born on the 4th of July under a used Toyota. The shelter <laughs> named all the puppies in the litter after Toyotas. Her name was Sequoia. Oh, that's really I cute. To it's so cute. Okay, let's get some of these on here. And um, let's see what happens. So I am going to, I feel like I want to, <laughs> Cheryl said, Mr. Puff, duh. Well, <laughs> yes, I've just course, never seen right? him. He doesn't come around. Mr. Puff. I guess she's more of a Miz. <laughs> <laughs> I guess she is. <laughs> she's never, and I've never seen her entertaining a gentleman cat. <laughs> or any cat, for that matter. <laughs> no. Did, 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 or dog. No. No. She has zero, no. Pa zero patience for the dogs. Oh, gosh. I think we want to go out a little bit because we can't see oh, the I'm whole Oh, I'm so sorry. Thing. I'm sorry, you guys. You know what they say, dogs drool, cats rule. Yes, of course. Dogs what? Dogs drool, cats rule. Oh, is that right? I don't know if I can get this entirely in the screen, okay. but we're just gonna, we're gonna go for it and I'll try to remember to shift my board around. So, there we go. So I just, I want just little hints of this around. Shelly likes the name Independence. Now that's oh, a proper name. And that is a mouthful for, for a little one. One. <laughs> Oh, Jesse said no lady puts her business in the street. Not Mrs. Puff, that's for sure. Oh, no. 
Nina loves old vintage lady names. Her dogs are called T, Olive, Ruth, Isabel, Jacqueline, and Eloise. Oh, that's so sweet. Like oh, my that. gosh. I love it. All righty. Um, actually, I'm thinking this probably needs to go down here because I know the shape that I'm dealing with. And, okay. and then you'll shorten it to Indy. Okay. Indy. <laughs> I would always say independence. Independence. What have you done? Get over here. <laughs> we said, are independence, 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 independence. <laughs> I like this name. Judy said my first kitty was black and white, just like Miss Kitty, and I named her Mitzi. She lived to 21. I like the name oh. Mitzi a lot. Well, I had the little girls uh, video faced. Yes. Right. And can we video face? Can we video face? And um, they, of course, were very intrigued. Well, we know Miss Hattie has a, a, a love for the, the uh, cats. barn cat. And no fear whatsoever. No fear. No. No. <laughs> she can they... snatch a cat. You don't even see the cat coming, and Hattie's got one arm out grabbing it. <laughs> She's got it under her arm so fast. That's crazy. <laughs> the, the cat lady there. Right? Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Oh, Miss Hat. <laughs> oh, BJ's here. She said she's still working on her project. I'm so sorry oh, I didn't get to meet you, BJ. BJ um, has been sending me pictures, and you're doing a great job. Good for you. She's like, I've never done anything like this before, and she's doing it. I was like, look, at, if we need to FaceTime, if we need to video face, BJ, yeah. we can do that. But no, she's just going for it. We, uh, we got some kind of a, a plan laid out for uh, her piece. She found a wonderful piece of vintage uh, old twin headboard here. And we picked out some paper and all the stuff for her to go ahead and do her own artwork. Wonderful. So, and it's and it's gonna be, I mean, I would say, BJ, it's a, it's a little bit more of a challenging project. And I'm really proud of you for taking it on. I am. Okay. Yep, someone says Liberty. Call her Libby for short. We kind of have a we Libby have in the a family. Libby. Yeah. Um, but that is cute. That would be cute. Stephanie says her husband just put together a nice pantry cabinet for her kitchen. We're going to make it appear built in. Any ideas for embellishments? Oh, gracious. You know something? That, I always hate to like... Um, give too much advice when it comes to design or you know those design kind of elements because girl it's your house and you got to know what you're loving so you have to you know think about are you going to paint it does it need to be painted is that your plan if it is then by all means like you got to work with what colors are in the room where you want to uh, use the cabinet and then think about all right well what appeals to you what you know we don't need it to be matchy matchy um of course but um and the other thing I will say when it comes to that kind of thing is um Sometimes we want to like do all the things that we can to that piece, right? Where sometimes it might be like, eh, we don't need to add a mold and a transfer and stamping, and you know we can we need to uh, pare it back and um, do something a little simpler. No one to to not it too much. And the other thing is too is if you can decide on a color maybe you just get it painted at first and then live with it for a bit put it in your space oh that's i was like why wrong. are you doing that okay that's it's all right because <laughs> i am gonna add some pink to it anyway i was yeah. holding my breath but i was like does she know what she's and doing and i'm gonna add a little of this so don't worry right yeah. these are the things that happen in that real. was one of those moments where i we were just, Jonathan edits a lot of our videos, and his job is to just literally edit my voice out. 
<laughs> and it's hard when I interrupt her, but sometimes she doesn't stop talking and I have to interrupt her. And th- that was one of those times where I was unsure if I should interrupt and say, that's <laughs> yeah. White Swan. I, w- I probably would have figured it out, yeah. but no, this is good. You're all hey, you're good. So, um, anyway, back to what I was saying. I think, you know, it's important to live with that color, live with that piece in the room where you're going to use it, and then maybe decide what looks right, what looks good for that space. I think that when you begin to live with a piece um, in the room, you can really um, help to visualize it more in its own space and in that light and you know with all the other decor and everything that's around it and and then decide from there you're probably thinking why are you covering this most of this up now i really want this to be kind of splotchy and blended Let me get a little. I just got a little bit of um, liquid patina on my fingers, and it's kind of mixing with the paint just a little bit. And toning down those roses. is going I, I really don't until I'm until I'm on the road there <laughs> I just know that I want kind of a dusky background which is a little more muted tones and then we'll see what happens Maybe it'll be good, maybe it won't. Who knows? We are just creating right now. Mm-hmm. And letting it be what it is, and it's okay. I think it's gonna be so pretty. Yeah, I, I think so too. Thank you, Mega. It's very romantic. Well, Gia's piece is very romantic, mm-hmm. and um, I just love when she adds all those beautiful textures, and like she'll mix roses in with baubles, right? Yeah. Which is kind of neat. Very neat. Hey, you guys, um, here we have uncovered one um, snowflake mold, the original mm. IOD snowflake mold. And sometime in this July, we're going to be doing a giveaway for that. So you don't want to miss. I can't believe we have one. I can't either. It's like they, they just keep secretly multiplying. Like, where did that come from? I love petticoat pink. It's so pretty, isn't it? But it becomes really pretty when you see how I'm, I'm just kind of blending it and mixing it with these other colors. And you guys, look, I'm, I'm not doing anything like crazy here. Um, I am just slip slapping this paint around. I think if you get the right colors, you, you can kind of create a cool background that, um, that you don't have to stress about. Remember, this is almost gonna be entirely covered. And then I can always come back later and add 
out some more little splotches here and there of different paint. I can um, add some glazing. Uh, there's so much that I can do with this as I uh, begin to finish it up. All right, so let me um, get this covered up and maybe I need some baby wipes. Baby wipes, did it, did it, did it, did it, baby wipes, did it, did it, did it. <laughs> Okay. It's warm in here. It is. It's, it's warm. Today. It's a little warm in here. Yeah. So Megan's on the hunt for a new sound machine. Sound board. Sound like board. Something a little more professional. I like... I think Jonathan may be able to help me. You think so? I hope. I hope so too. Because it sure hasn't been much fun here on Fridays, I know. has it? It is hard without sound effects. Let's see what I can download on my phone right now. Okay. Oh, <laughs> you're gonna. You're just gonna go. I'm gonna go rogue. Okay. Soundboard. The ultimate <clears throat> soundboard. Megan? Yes. What, what are you one? finding? <laughs> oh, do you want to know one of those? Yeah. Sorry. What are you finding? I'm just there? looking around. All right. Just keep doing what you're doing. I am. I am. It's very hard for me to just do what I do here and know that you're doing something completely different over there. <laughs> no. I'm never, I, that's literally every live. I know that. Every live, you're doing what you do there and I'm doing what I do here. <laughs> I know. Okay. I know. Let's oh my see. goodness. I'm tired. I am a little bit tired. We, I was up at 4 a.m. with Kitty. It is truly like having a new baby in the house, right? Mm -hmm. It really is. And so, um, just getting used to that. I think that um, things are going to settle down quite a bit, though. Comic sound effects. I like the sounds of that. All right, so I am going to... Um, start to lay out my resin pieces and I kind of did like this. Ooh, I'm going to need to look at my, my phone. My... You can use air dry clay with this also by all means. Um, I'm going to look at Gia's picture. can do. Guys, I don't know if we'll completely finish this today, but um, a lot of this is going to be just kind of laying this out to get the right placement of everything. Oh, Patty Levine said she loved your podcast. Do you want to talk a little bit about that? Um, I can. Hi, Patty. Thank you so much. I did get your text um, just a little bit ago before it was on my watch and I was getting ready to, to go live. But, um, Patty, thank you very much. Um, in fact, Patty, if you want to share a link to that podcast, um, you sure can. Um, I, I don't know if you can share links here. Oh, from from. I don't think on they, Facebook you can't, but on on YouTube you can't. On I don't think you can. On Facebook you can. Let's see. Oh. But I I had a, a lovely conversation with Dion and. Um, oh. Oh, thanks. that was that thanks. was not meant for no. that. Oh. oh. <laughs> Just getting used to this. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I guess you are. Um, all right. So, already it's like, oh, I'm, I'm kind of going in a different direction that I... Well, how can I find this no, podcast? It's, if you go to... Patty, are you able to share a link? I know She's on not. Facebook, if you're on YouTube, you can't, but on Facebook, you can. Access denied. 
<laughs> Is Gia here yet? Gia, I need your help, girl. I need your help. Wow. You know, it doesn't have to be exactly like Gia's, I know that. But how can I get this podcast link? Is it on her website? Um, why don't you do a Google search for Turquoise Iris Podcast? Yes, it's, it should be on her website. If I, if I am correct, uh, let me see. What a nice, I want these all to kind of come down this way. And there. This, this is beautiful already. I am obsessed already. Gia, you are the best girlfriend. The best. Um, let's see. There it is. Did you find it? I think so. Oh, cool. Okay. Oh, yeah. I found it. Nice. Get ready, everyone, because I'm about to post it. Okay. And it was lovely. We, we really did have a nice conversation, and and it was really nice. It was just really nice. Good. Did she have any sound effects? No, she did not. How dare you? Oh, it. Okay. Okay, Megan. I can't. I'm just trying to swipe the screen. You're terrible. <laughs> I'm not trying to push these. What are you doing? Oh my gosh. I'm trying to get a particular <laughs> this. <laughs> now there's the link. Here we go. <laughs> Here this one we takes go. a little getting used to. <laughs> it does. <laughs> these roses came these came from the roses mold, these leaves, and then before the resin set up, I just, um, I cut them, but you can also um, just snap them like this. I can tell you that if you're seeing something that says it's an IOD mold on Timu, it's not. <gasps> it's simply not. No, absolutely not. And it's rude of them. Yeah. Yeah. Can't. This you is can't not working again. out. No, it's, it's not, not working out. It's not. Um, <laughs> I know that. Um, well, I don't want to talk about the team. Oh, Gia's here. Gia. Oh, please, girl, help. <laughs> you struggle. Are you struggling? Uh, not. Or is it not, just my sound effects? Not super much, but kind of. I just want to know that I've got decent, a decent layout to start with here. Let me get my beak on. I know the bulk of our our um, our uh, whatever you call it today is going to be um, laying out, and then Monday we'll we'll paint, and then next week, you guys. Oh boy! Oh boy! Next week. I'm gonna show you something really special and cute and wonderful so that you can get it before they're gone. Where is that little mouse? Where's that little mouse? Um, we have gotten some we have gotten some new Christmas papers in. Look at that, you guys. Look at that. One more time say, where's that little mouse? No. Where is that little mouse? A mystery. Look, I should have just used that for my background. Yeah. <laughs> Isn't that she beautiful? Sure, um, but... I like that sound. All right, we this we're gonna do. We're gonna do cute little mice ornaments next week. Yes, we are. are so, they, darling, I forget how many of these we have, but you'll want to grab them now because I'm telling you, they will be gone. I will add that. I'm just drying the rest of this. Does Gia have anything to add? 
Any advice? Like I said, I don't want to make it look Any exactly like Gia's, but I kind of want it to look sort of like Gia's. All right, I'm going to actually start gluing down um, my baubles because I know that these are like kind of the foundational pieces. Oh, we've got some Christmas sounds here. That could be Beautiful. useful. <laughs> Can you ch check, see if Gia has any I've input been, I'm whatsoever? I'm watching every comment. Thank you. Believe it. Thank you. Judy just said, well, Debbie said Timu is junk. Agreed. Uh, yeah. Judy said, who is excited for the journal class next week? <gasps> great, great segue, Judy. We have a fun journaling class next week monday and tuesday potentially wednesday isn't that right mom that is exactly it right. it has Megan. nothing to do with christmas and that's okay right it is yeah we're doing a fabric journal yes but i'll tell you what i am excited about that has everything to do with christmas is a wonderful um, Christmas journal that I have envisioned in my mind since last year and I wanted it I wanted it to be um, like a gift within a gift and I have found pieces that I need to make that happen so just watch. finally Finally, it's been like forever, hasn't it? Gia says if you want to put the twigs in between, use clay. You can shape it better. Yes. Yep. I have my clay out. That was the sound of sleigh bells, just so you know. It didn't sound like I know. That. I, this is my first time okay. buying these. Okay. But can we go back to our class that's coming up? Yes, of course. So that we can let people know if they don't know about it. Yes. You do not have to have taken any of our previous journal classes. You can be a beginner. You Isn't don't have right? to have sewing skills. No sewing skills required. It's going to be very fun. And you're going to learn a lot. I'm going to add that also to the collection here. Um, but get signed up for it. We have a lot of fun in these classes. We really do. They're wonderful. And so um, we're working with a fabric substrate for the journal that's a Tim Holtz product. I will be using primarily Tim Holtz products. Um, you you don't have to. Please don't feel like you have to buy everything that's on that that supply list. You can use what you have. That's what's so fun about journaling. Yeah, but I will say that um, the base of the the journal is you're going to get a best outcome using probably that Tim Holtz fabric journal and um, I, I'm going to be using backdrops the neutral backdrops now you don't have to use neutral backdrops the Tim Holtz stuff but what I do like about the neutral backdrops is that they are a heavier weight like cards card stocks yes. What's that, Cheryl? Like a card stock. Yeah, like a card stock. And that is what is going to give your journal the, the lovely um, the weight and the structure that it needs. Hey, Cheryl, I, my journal is over there. If you want to grab it, we can show that. Oh, I see you just have a little drop down right on the site with the site supplies for the fabric journal. Do I? Just, yeah, like I've never seen you do that before, but it's right here supplies for fabric journal really so i can send that to leah oh okay i did you open it up yeah it's uh everything you need for the oh well, it's cool yes i created a little collection there and shared that to our group okay so it would be easier for them because some people you know don't like getting links from um like they don't like following the links from PDF, so I just made that collection. So this is our journal, and you can see that it has some it has some weight to it. it it's a nice. Yeah. It has some good structure. That is because of the uh, weight of the cardstock that I put on here, and 
um, and the fabric journal itself. So we do have some of those. I just I have some more that were just shipped, um, but um, this is going to be a great project and it's going to feature a lot of little hiding holes and that's the most fun I know I really really fun yep all right so let's get this guy glued on okay so I wonder if that's if we can access that there it is beautiful how helpful it is helpful. Well, just because Leah just asked me for that, and that's an easy way for me to send it to her. Excellent. And while I was looking at that, I'm not sure if you mentioned, you don't have to be there live. Oh, no, you don't at all. It's no. really fun if you can be there live and participate and ask questions and all that good stuff, but if you can't, it's available for infinity well are you going to share a, a dip yeah i guess and I a cocktail to, i guess is i it, need to do that yeah will it, will it be a, a neutral like an oatmeal dip and oh, a oh, and know, a probably something, milk something <laughs> summery <laughs> yeah so i'm super 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 excited about the potential for that christmas journal i am so excited and also for christmas in july um i'm excited about um no we're not doing a hymn board although that class is available and open for people to purchase and buy the class and go through it and jr we do have hymn boards in stock and we have the gingerbread houses but um we have another really cool um build that he is doing that will be um part of our project mm -hmm. and another like a private group to uh to share that that's project. gonna be really special. it's gonna be really 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 cool you guys So Gia, is this looking okay? I mean, I'm boy, I'm I'm having such doubts right now, but Why? I'm sure it'll be all right. Of right? course it will. It's gonna be okay. This has got to get glued down, and it's got to settle up. And then, as Gia mentioned, um, using air dry clay, I will be adding some other parts to this that I can kind of shape a little bit more. really really pretty thank you Because um, I need this to settle up, you know, right there. It needs to settle. Mm -hmm. I see. Okay. Now, um, I think that what I'm going to do is just to give you guys a little idea of, um, you know, like kind of those branches and twigs and that kind of thing. I'm just pulling my, um, any kind of a mold that has that twigginess or those, those little branches. I'm actually thinking of these right here and maybe, maybe that, I don't know. Let's see. Baru said she really loves the suitcase you did recently. Oh, you know, we just got more of those papers in too, you guys. 
That was pretty. The the um, blue patchwork, so pretty. Uh, Cheryl asks, is there a Facebook group to join for next week's journal class? Yes, ma'am. And how would you find that information? Well, it, I Cheryl, I did get your order, and um, you would have gotten a PDF attached to that email confirmation. And you can also just text us. And you can also just search for um, Fabric Journal Workshop with Ellen J. Goods. Gia says she does everything with clay, and she I know she has the best results. I know, way. I know you do, Gia, and um, I I find that as well because I I would prefer working with clay over anything, but today because um, of the time factor, um, I wanted to prepare several pieces ahead of time, and so that's what I did. So I'm hoping I'm hoping it's going to work out okay. I love these little things that Gia uses. Oh, Tommy's coming. It's her first journal class. Yay, Tommy. So I'm going to make a bunch of these. Gia thinks you laid it out beautifully, and there's plenty of room for the rest. Good. Um, Linda says, about the journal class tea bags. Yogi tea bags have inspirational sayings on the little tag attached. Nice to use with or without the tea bag. Oh, that's fun. Joy says, respectfully asking, what are these journals for? <laughs> I know, I know, I understand. I get it. Um, here's here's how they're, I explain they're art. it. They are art. And what, what I find about them is that they are just these little places, little places to lay out designs, work on composition, put colors together. You know, there's many different kinds of journals, but um, they're also, it's like you're making a little book and it's a little story that you're sharing. Um, you know, not only, um, you know, using like purchased products, but you can also personalize them and it's really awesome like i love it i mean to me it's like it's like you're you're giving yourself the freedom to just play the and it's and you can really do it without investing a lot financially right which i really like too exactly yeah um Nina said, I'm so excited about the opening of the hymn board class. Is there a link for that? Yes. Is that open right now? Mm -hmm. Okay, I'll yep. give you that right now. Yep. So I'm not laying these out yet. But um, again, my, my preference is for air dry clay, always. I love using it because I like to shape it and I can mold it. The Christmas journal we will probably do in October. Yeah. This Carol wants to try this. She really loves it. Who? Carol Beals. Oh, Carol. But um, yeah, I think that I can use like these little leaves. Karen's asking, what are those little pieces you're putting on? Those are from Acanthus Scroll. Okay, and they're just these little, tiny little, almost seed pod kind of things. <laughs> I don't know what they are, but I know Gia uses them a lot. How far does a resin casting kit go in these molds? Well, that depends on the size, because there are a lot of different the, sizes. Each, well, and each mold does tell you, doesn't it? It does. Yeah. How, exactly how much? Yeah, there's little there's little markings on there yeah. that, um, that tell you how much resin to pour. So, um, and the kits, the resin kits, the two-part resin kits come in all different sizes. So I, I don't know. Um, it depends on what size kit you have. We buy this stuff by the gallon. So, um, a 
Patty is sitting on her flight from Detroit to Newark, and they just delayed us for three hours. That's oh, the worst. I had a brutal, brutal journey back from Mexico. Oh. I was, it's like I left one day at noon, and I wasn't back home in my house until the next day at noon. It was brutal. Gia, do you like these little leafy things? I mean, I'm trying to, I'm working with what I have. Um, but what do you think of these? For adding some. Cheryl asks, is this, is the five gallon jug you use on your Amazon store? The five gallon oh, jug. resin, I'm assuming. No, it's not, Cheryl. It's pricey, you know. Um, I I buy it not five gallons, but a gallon jug. Yeah, yeah, and and it's and it's pricey. Um, so, you know, you have to you have to do whatever works within your budget. Lorena said, I had done a mold yesterday before work and stuck it in the freezer so I could work with it at lunchtime. I ran in and took it out of the freezer and went to work with it in my short lunch time, pulled it out of the mold, and proceeded to put tight bond on it, and the glue froze solid. Oh, did I got it really? ahead of myself, but it did thaw when the clay did. Learned the lesson, but did it worked it? out. Oh my gosh. So you guys, um, as you can see, we're, we're at an hour now, um, but this is where we are gonna just play with layout, and I'm, I'm even like playing with different molds. I'm not necessarily using all branches. I'm seeing some other things, like even from Dainty Flourishes, that might work well um, as filler in here. Like, look at that. That is beautiful. Yeah. Like, I can lay that in there. And Stephanie says, I'm just worried. I hear about the clay cracking. Does that happen? Oh, of it's course so it does. How? Of course, um, the clay does crack as it dries because the air is coming out of it and you um, can expect that as it shrinks, or as it dries, it's going to shrink. Now, you can, um, by gluing, gluing it in place, um, you can also minimize that cracking. Um, but the other thing is you're working with a very, look at this, this is wonderful. This is a, a very organic type of a product. And again, it's just like I said with the paint inlays, is kind of embracing the imperfection that, that may occur. And I don't mind if there's a crack or two, but you can also fill those cracks with a little bit of, um, um, I'll take some air dry clay mixed with a little bit of glue and you can fill in any cracks. You can um, use a little joint compound to fill them, modeling paste. Or just embrace them. Or just embrace the cracks. Uh, Catherine asks, what mold do the branches come from? The branches come from primitive. Okay, Joy says, so once the journal is done, where do you put them? <laughs> like in an object, an object in a grouping display or what? You can, you can kind of lay them out or think of like, where do you put your photo albums, right? Um, kind of like that. And these are all very good questions, Joy. Yes. I'm glad you're asking it because yep. You know, if you're asking it, a lot of other people are thinking it. That's exactly right. And also know that if it's not your thing, it's not your thing, and that's okay. But what we found is that just by exploring a new type of a medium, something different than you've ever done before, it really does help you in the other creative aspects of your life. Gia says, yes, they're beautiful. I think she's referring to the... Dainty flourishes. She says you can also extend them by removing the top and adding a second one so yep. you can make longer strings. Yep. She's putting it on uh, an old tabletop, Donna. And Donna Hudson, who I talked to on the phone today, since that time I have added a uh, four pack of the bigger 
brain sack stencils as requested by you. It's up, it has free shipping like you asked, and it's at a discounted price. So if anybody is now's wanting, your time. Now's your time. <laughs> if you're wanting to do that um, quilt or would, would you call it a coverlet or the grain sack? Yeah. Yes. Um, I know a lot of people have been wanting to do that and it takes several different grain sack stencils. We now we've always had a eight by eight set of four. Now we have a twelve by twelve set of four of mom's grain sack stencils for free sh with free shipping at a discounted price when you get all. I four. don't know how long they're going to stay at free shipping. Yeah, but we wanted to just put that out there and offer it. Yes, and thank you, Donna, for that idea. And maybe I'll add that to our. Sure. Just because I mentioned yep. it. Okay. So, Joy, I don't know, does that make sense to you at all? Um, I, I think with the Christmas journal, I think that that's going to be a really fun one to for people who are kind of new to, to this type of thing. Mm -hmm. I think it's going to be fun because I think with Christmas, you can get a little personal with it. And... Um, and you know it's like one of those things we we all kind of share that love of the season and holidays and and um and i think that you're gonna really find that the prompts that are given are gonna be um it just kind of take you back to those holidays and and though that's something you can put out every holiday season you know how you have the big coffee table books yeah you put one on the coffee table and exactly it, that way. that's a great idea Shirley yep You know, and sometimes because I tend to do them, they're for me. You know, they're it's something that I enjoy doing, and I I have them on a shelf, and um, every now and then I just take them down and I look through them, and um, yeah, that's what I do. But the, the important thing is, it's it's not as much what do I do with it when I'm done. It's what are you doing with it while you're creating it? And how is that um, kind of, um, oh, enhancing your creative life, I guess. Yeah, it's almost a lot of the joy is just in the process with journaling. Exactly. That's exactly right. Yeah. It doesn't ever have to be finished. No, it doesn't. And and the other thing is too, it's one of those things it doesn't have to be finished and it also doesn't have to be oh I need I feel like I need I've got to have something come in here. And I don't know if it's another bobble. And there's a few different types of journals that um, yeah, that eating your soul, I make. Says Cheryl. Yeah, I I make a few different types of journals, and like my art journal, for example, that I have shared with you guys, um, I I use that to truly explore art techniques and those things that um you know i i don't want to like commit to them on like a big piece of uh, uh canvas or something and also it is kind of a healing thing as well because i allow myself as part of the layers to even write out things and then i cover it up <laughs> and and it's just a really wonderful uh, process for, um, I don't know, just writing things down and expressing yourself. Um, someone just said something. 
Marianne says, I don't journal, but I see the appeal of putting a page or two together and having the satisfaction of completing something in a short time, immediate gratification, and it's something you can do alone, but I see it as a way to get together with others and socialize and learn. Exactly, Marianne. That's exactly That's right. Yeah. Very well put. You know, it's something that Dion and I talked about in the podcast as well, um, and it was truly... Um, it, it, she kind of agreed with me too and and uh, why she likes to do like her retreats and those creative retreats and so forth and um, yeah there is something about uh, I feel passionately about women getting together and um, sharing in that creative space and doing things that maybe they've never done before and allowing themselves to be a little vulnerable in a safe place and I don't know how it happens but when we start to put our hands into papers and writing and paint and mediums and work on that page I don't completely get it but it it's healing and it's and it's a safe place and it and it digs deep into people and their their fear of perfection and or fear of imperfection and um you know like that comparison thing and and all of that it it it's a it's a very cool process Okay, Lynn asks, any suggestions on how to get an asymmetrical look without getting off balance and looking crooked? What do you mean asymmetrical on what? On what, dear heart? The Painted Spindle says, when I'm in a creative slump, if I do a mixed media type project, it usually gets my creativity flowing. It's yeah. really true. And then, you know, we talk a lot about, you know, facing the blank page as well and the blank canvas. And I got to tell you, when I started this, it's like, oh my gosh, this, what am I going to do with this? Is it going to look right? Am I going to be able to show you guys this whole process? I've never done this before, blah, blah, blah. All, I have all of those same things that pop into my mind and want to keep me from sharing with you guys. It's not going to look like Gia's. No, it's not. Even if Gia and I had exactly the same, if I went to Gia's house and she gave me exactly the same products, paint, everything, the same number of molds she used, everything identical that she used guess what mine's gonna look different from hers it's going to look different so you're right that um, I think this the, the beginning is just getting something down on on that page Lynn said regarding um, asymmetric yes yeah. On any flat surface, she loves the asymmetrical because it gives a lot of visual interest. Well, I'm trying to... Maybe I'm just thinking of like when you make like a flow coming across. That makes me think of like a little bit asymmetrical, but without it looking crooked, you know? Hmm. Maybe. Who is this, Lynn? Lynn Allison. Lynn Allison, you know what? Um, message me, and if you can, Lynn, are you on Pinterest? Like, show me some examples from Pinterest of what what you're kind of talking about, right? But message me those pictures. I'd, I'd be really interested to know what you're talking about. And it's gonna help me to visualize and maybe be able to answer answer that question a little better. Betty says, in all my art, I've had to learn that it does not have to be perfect, especially in watercolor. I was always trying to make it look real, quote. Yeah. When it didn't, I felt I failed. I had to get my head past that. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Oh, it's all in our heads. It really is. Uh, Nina said, I think I saw in your cottage a stand that you have your hymn board on. Did you find it or did JR make it? Oh, that's actually one that um, 
we purchased in um, in Ohio. And it was already on the stand. Uh-oh, Kitty wants out. She's like, I don't belong in here. Uh, Marianne says, oh, so I already read that. Marie says she just loved listening to your beginnings of getting to the point where you are now on the podcast. <laughs> oh, Marie, thank you. Yeah. It's quite a story, right? Quite a story. Uh, you could message her right on Facebook, Lynn. Yeah. Or Lynn, are you part of our text group? You can uh, you can also text me there. Yep. Okay, so you guys, this is um my my clay is a little dried out there. I got a fresh piece. Do you need more? Nope, I'm good. Shirley's loving on the baby. Mm -hmm. I don't want to be in there by myself. No, she doesn't. I want to come out. I can't believe we're cat people now. Well, we've been cat people before, but. Gia says, you start something with an idea and I've never made that idea before. It's always become something different and even more beautiful. Absolutely. And remember you guys, I talk about this so much too, is look, the first time that I try something new, it's not going to be absolutely. I don't expect to be an expert. There was a time when I expected to be an expert. <laughs> like, I should be able to do this and do it perfectly, right? But, but remember that we, we start here. We start with this. We start with this little bit. And then we practice and we do more. And every time we do more, we improve and we do something a little differently. And, um, and then it's all, it's all good. We're, we're just kind of learning the, the whole thing. My first journal pages that I ever did, oh, I can't even tell you. I have covered over them so many times. But the cool thing is, is that they're still there. The work that I did is still there. It's covered up, but I know it's there. And it is just becomes part of the whole, like, I think the whole healing kind of a process. I really do. And growing and learning. And I still think too, when you've got a, when you've got good instruction, Oh, Shirley is very thrilled with the kitten. Yes, Melissa. <laughs> when you have good instruction, um, it's it's helpful. Mm -hmm. And and so many so much of what we do, we just go step by step, and then it it becomes easy. You know, not yes. necessarily easy, but it it becomes um, more manageable. And don't do what I do and, you know, start with the most giant, complicated project <laughs> you've ever done for the very first time, right? I've done it so many times. Um, but allow yourself to start with something small and simple and, um, and then build from there. Then... Uh, Marie says, it makes us creators feel comforted to know that your story is similar to many of us and you persevered and look where they are. Yes, that mm -hmm. is a very inspiring story. Mm -hmm. Carol says, I find that perfection is boring. I like little things that make it uniquely your own. Isn't that true? That is such a good point, Carol. It really is. As I'm looking at Gia's thinking... How can I make mine even more perfect? Betty thinks some of those pomegranates and little birds would be pretty in your piece. The pomegranates? Yeah, they could be, right? They really could be. But I do want it. I don't want to overdo this, if that makes sense. I want to keep my elements cohesive. Um, that's important to me to do that. So um, I probably won't be adding those pomegranates and I probably won't. I mean, I love the suggestion, but I think that it's a little too primitive to go with this style. So, but like I can already tell, like I'm not digging, I don't know if I'm liking this too much. Okay. We'll see. I mean, I gotta get some 
paint over it and we'll see because I, I don't have all the stuff that Gia had at her disposal so um, I'm just using what I have and but here's the thing when I finish gluing all of this down I will um, I'm gonna put a clear I'm gonna put a coat of paint over this entire thing the entire thing of this kind of background color and then I will on Monday will begin to paint these um, these elements I think it's looking really nice well thank you Megan I just need to uh, get some more stuff on here and you guys I think it's about time to say goodbye so do we want to see kitty yeah Kitty, wants to run. <laughs> Kitty does want to run, I'm sure. Kitty Kitters! <gasps> hey, baby! Oops, let me. <gasps> There's the baby, looking so much more energetic and happy. And we're going to go to the vet today. We yeah. have an appointment at 3.45 to get all the other issues settled, right? But isn't she precious? She's the yeah. cutest little tuxedo cat ever. <laughs> and she follows us everywhere. She does, she's screaming at mom I when know. she's in the bathroom. I know, she, such yes. a good baby. Your eyes are better. Oh, all right. I'll give you back to Shirley. <laughs> Yeah, you guys have a wonderful weekend. Yeah. We will see you on Monday when we're going to continue to work on this beautiful panel board. Gia, thank you again for your inspiration. Yes, always. Always. Um, and um, yeah, let's let's do this. And then uh, then next Friday, we're going to make some cute ornaments with mice. <laughs> Oh, See you next week for more Christmas in July. Bye, guys. Thank you so much. That one worked. Yes, it did. <laughs> Sounded just like Santa Claus. It did. Yes, it did. Yeah.